All right, welcome back. This is James Possible, and this is our next video where I'm walking through the process of exporting data from MetaTrader 4 and then importing it into Excel. And from Excel, within Excel, I'm going to walk you through creating some very simple formulas and doing some very basic data analysis. <clears throat> so you can, you know, gain some insights. And, uh, you know, and, and, and work through different ideas and strategies you might have. So, this is where we left off. I'm going to close this. And again, tools within MetaTrader 4, history. So, the tools menu, tools menu, history. Or we can press F2 and it gets us to the same place. Now, the pair we're looking at is GP, GBP CAD, which is a pound CAD. Now, on the left side, it says symbols on the history center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide down, and here we go. This is the pound CAD pair. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to double click on the one minute. Because here's the thing. When I'm downloading data or downloading data, into, because downloading is like from the broker into MetaTrader 4, so when I download data, I only download the, the M1 data, because all the other calculations are performed based on the M1 data. So there's really not a lot of need to download the other um, time frames. So double click the pair, Double click the one, the M1, the one minute data. Over to the right, you will see that um, there is M1 data, right? Now, first, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this and, and let's talk about under Tools Options. Okay, Tools Options. But look over to the right. You see this Control Plus the letter zero, I mean the letter O, alpha O. So, this is our options window, and this applies to to all the charts within MetaTrader 4 that are open, okay, or that will be opened or used, utilized within MetaTrader 4. So, control O, and there we are in options. Now, on the <clears throat> from the options window, we want to select you want to select the Charts tab, the Charts tab. Down at the bottom, you will see two drop-downs. There's Max Bars and History, which is the size of the database. I always, by default, set mine to 10 million. Okay? I just want to make sure I have room for data. The Max Bars and Chart, right now I have it at 4,500. But when I'm doing a lot of analysis and, you know, historical type work, I generally set it for somewhere around three and a half million. Okay? Now, I just changed it. And here's the thing. When you change those, those values in the options window, you have to close MetaTrader 4. So I'm going to close it for them to take effect. Okay. Now let's go back to... Let's open it back up. There we go, it's opening. Just took a minute for it to get there. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Sorry, I have multiple screens, so I'm making sure I have all my stuff ready and available. Okay, so now here's the thing. Let's do 
Control O. Control O. And we're in the options window. Again, if you want to go through the menu, that's fine. Just click Tools, Options. Then you're in the options window, select Charts. And there you have it. <clears throat> so what happens is now we're going to go back to F2, which is the his History Center. I'm still on the M1. I'm going to download the data. Click OK. Say yes. OK. And it's running pretty fast because I've already downloaded the data. I'm just walking you through the same process. OK. So now the data is in there. You can see it starts from 226, which is today's date. I mean, actually, for me, it's still the 25th. But if you look down here at the bottom right of the chart, you see I have chart time, which is the time of the server. And that shows the 26th. And then the local time, which is my time, it still shows the 25th. And uh, there's about an eight hour difference, I believe. And so it's, I keep those times there. It's, it's helpful when I do snapshots and stuff. Um, I know both when the chart time is, what chart time it happened at, occurred at, and then I also know what time locally it happened at. Okay, so that's that. Now we're ready to download the, the data. Okay, now I said it started, I was talking about how much data was actually there. So 226, now if I hit end, it takes us all the way back to 2008, August 22nd. Now here's the thing, if we look at the numbers at the very top here, it says database, right? So we have 35-00123. Then we have 384-8034. So let's break that down. That's 3,500,000. 3,848,034. So this first number is the max bars in chart. This is going to say max bars. Okay. This second number is the available data. So out of 3.8 million records, we have downloaded 3.5 million records, okay? If we were to export data right now, so let's go like to the M15, and we were to hit ex export, if you look up here, it says, right there, it says one, two, three, it says database, 258792 records. Sorry, I'm not sure where that came from. 258792. So that's 250,000, 258,000 records that we would be downloading. And we're wanting to work in Excel. And I'm working from 2010. The newer versions of Excel will allow you to access uh, much more data, like the 2013 and 2016 versions. Uh, but, but for me, I'm in the 2010. And really, for this example, I don't want to download that much data because it's just, it'd be overwhelming, right? So I want to keep the data set small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close. So again, if we did export these at this point, we would have over 258,000 records. So I'm going to hit close. I'm going to do Control-O, 
And again, you can go to Tools, Options. Then I'm going to change this Max Bars and Chart. I'm going to change it from 3,000,005 to 4,500 bars. Bars being candle sticks. Okay? Price bars. Okay, and then I closed it because remember, when we make a change like that, uh, we have to close MetaTrader 4 and then open it again for it to take effect. All right, so let's get back to where we were. Okay, I'm opening it back up. Okay, now if we go Tools, Options, you see it's still 4,500. Now if we go F2 back into Data Center, you will see that instead of 258,000 records, this time it says database 4501 slash 258. 792 records. So, of 258,000 records, we have 4,500 4, records. 4501. Okay? Much different. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export the M15. I'm going to export. And I usually, at the end, I like to put a, a dash and then M15. That way I know quickly what data I'm looking at. I'm going to click Save. And boom. We're done. The data's been ex exported. Okay. So this is video two, or the second video in, in this, this uh, series that, where I'm talking about uh, Excel. And again, I'm James Possible. I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, in the next video, um, we're going to take that data that we just exported from MetaTrader 4, and we're going to put it into Excel. And, you know, I'm trying to keep these videos small, and so, just so they're easier to process. So, again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to sharing with you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, please, you, just down below, feel free. And uh, I will do my, my best to respond and answer uh, questions and whatnot. Thank you.